We are deglazing some beautiful beef shorts today. Very simple, some fresh sea salt, some cracked pepper, and we are getting the beef ribs nice and ready for that beautiful flour dredge. Coat each side, get that pan nice and hot. Use rosemary to let you know if that pan is hot enough. Slowly lower those beef ribs into the hot extra virgin olive oil, watch splashes. What we're trying to do is sear every single side, sides and ends so that they're nice and sealed in. Take your time, make sure that the, the, the oil, the hot oil does its thing and those edges are nice and seared. You know they want to lock in all those juices. It's going to be going into the oven for a long, long time. Making sure a little bit of aromatic, so there's some rosemary and some uh, garlic. We want to now, now that the, the ribs have uh, sort of the coated on, the, on all sides, we want to deglaze. And deglaze is very simple, red wine. Uh, we'll do the trick, uh, about a cup and a half, two cups of good red wine. The good in equals good out, and so that's what we're doing. We're gonna put in some red wine, and then start building our flavors, okay? As it starts um, simmering, we're gonna sprinkle in some chili peppers, some bay leaves. We you know we already have our rosemary and our garlic there. Then to add some more uh, uh, flavor uh, profiles <laughs> to that pot, we're gonna put in about a cup or so of Beautiful fresh tomato puree from the garden. Simple uh, puree of tomato. You can use plum tomato if you have, or some tomato paste, but less of it. And that's just not only going to give it color, but some uh, some flavor as well, and some richness to that jus. Uh, and speaking of jus, we need, jus, we need some more uh, moisture and uh, fluid. So we want to put some water. Uh, we can use chicken stock or beef stock or vegetable stock. But again, building those flavors. That's all we want to do. Because it's going to be in the oven for a long time. And it's going to need some friends. So with some friends, we're just going to throw in a whole bunch of aromatics. You know, your holy trinity for sure. You no know, onions, celery, carrots. But uh, if you've got some peppers, you know, a little that little sort of soft pepper that needs a needs a home, just throw that in there. We we use some fennel stock because we were eating some fennel uh, this evening. And make sure that it's all loaded up there because it's going to reduce down. It's going to add so much flavor to that uh, that uh, uh, jus. Um, and uh, add some more moisture, a little bit of more, a little, another splash of olive oil. Uh, can't uh, hurt it at all. Again, close that lid and you're going to forget about it. 250 degrees, four, five, six hours, long, long. That just pulls off the bone. So delicious.